This episode contains violence and mature themes. Please listen responsibly. Nineteen Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's episode is Karma. Written by Julie Hoverson. Sound and mastering by Jason Zippe. Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a modern apartment. Can't you tell? Good morning. Ah! Oh, and here I thought you didn't recognize me. Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! Don't touch me! Oh, that's not the Billy Boy I know. Where are you, Teddy, today? How did Grace know you? Tammy. How do you... What do you know about them? I know you treated them just the way you treated me. But they never got the chance to pay you back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Not yet, you're not. <laughs> But you'd never think I could still play a mean knot, eh? You shouldn't be here. <laughs> you thought. You saw to that, didn't you? <laughs> Getting ready to dump me. To walk away. Just like you did with all the others. How? I found your scrapbook. But you really shouldn't keep records. They're kind of damning. What about cops? Oh. I've never been one to share my man. When you wanted to be my man, didn't you? The be-all and end-all. I don't like sharing either. <laughs> I know. You didn't want to share Glenda, Dawn, Crystal, Beverly, Kim, Julie... You made your point! But there's still dozens. You want money? What would I do with money? I don't have anything left to buy. I could give it all back. I want back something else you took from me. What? Blood. Blood? Blood. Ah! Ooh, bet you never thought I'd be able to do that, either. Someone will hear. Oh, of course they won't. You would never, ever live in an apartment where the neighbors could hear your little games. That wouldn't be any fun, now would it? What are you gonna do? Hmm, I haven't decided yet. It would be a little hard to pay you back. Stroke? For stroke? <laughs> but that's a start. Damn! I can't seem to keep hold of anything very long. Maybe it's because of what you did to my hand. I'm sorry! You're such a little lawyer. I'm a victim, too. Oh, I've only just started. No, I mean, I was abused. I was abused as a child. Really? Molested by my uncle, Larry. Funny how that happens. A woman grows up with something like that, and if she recovers at all, she usually decides to help other victims, to fight for their rights or talk them through it. I, oh yeah, I could do that. Ha! When a man claims abuse, it's almost always to excuse some heinous crime. But I was! And I don't care! Hmm. You know, it must be something in the testosterone. <gasps> That's it! If we get rid of that... Oh, where'd that knife go? No! Oh, don't worry. You might even survive it. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? That wouldn't stop me. I'd still enjoy everything else. I'm sure. That's why I would never leave you like that. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Do you even remember me? What you did to me? Of course I remember. I brought you home with me. And we got... Intimates. You only remember that because it's the same for every woman. Every woman in your damn book. 
I saw the pictures. You don't remember me. What you said to me. What you did to me. I wasn't even important to you, was I? Oh, you'll have a whole page in my book. And my name? Huh. I didn't think so. I'm so sorry. Really? It's really not my fault. Not your fault? No! It's not really my fault. No. I, I really can't help myself. The urge comes over me and then... Oh, and then... And then there's all that cleaning up. Yes, yes, yes. You could turn yourself in. No! I, I never make it in jail. I don't do well with pain. <laughs> You're still bleeding. I almost forgot. Kathy! What? Kathy, your name. Kathy. Kathy. Yes. Will you forgive me now? I'll... I'll forgive you before I leave. <gasps> There's still some work to do. Work? Let's see. What else did you do to me? Oh, the hand! Right. <laughs> and the face! I thought, I, thought, I thought you wanted me to remember you! Oh, I just wanted you to know my name so you could beg. Kathy! Please, Kathy! Stop, Kathy! Stop! When I begged, what did you do? I couldn't help myself! Mmm! Oh, that's a good answer! I'll use it too. Why not just kill me? That would be so simple. How could I ever forgive you that way? So you're not going to... I don't... I don't want to hurt you anymore. Oh, good. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. But I can't help myself. Ah! Help! Help! They can't actually hear you, can they? They wouldn't have heard me. It's the cops! It's the cops! And I'm worried? Huh. Let them come in. It's not like I'll go to prison. They'll stop you. <laughs> I can still kill you before they get through the door. Oh, but it would be funny if they tried. What if I promised to never do it again? You'd lie. I swear. I swear. Shut up. Police! There's the guy. Hello. What's that smell? Why is he tied up and... Take it outside. You, check the bedroom. Body. A woman. Shit. Anyone alive in here? Nope. No sign of anyone. But he's still steaming. He can't have been killed more than a second ago. And it can't exactly be suicide. Trust him like a turkey and all. Thanks for the insight. Where's the M.E.? On his way. You said there was a woman? In the bedroom. It's bad. Found some ID. Right. Barb. Yeah? Take this. Find the next of kin for one. Kathy Wellington. Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. But one less. This episode, Karma, was written by Julie Hoverson, and sound and mastering was done by Jason Zippe. In this episode, Kathy was Beverly Poole, the victim was Jack Kincaid of Edict Zero, and the three police were Renaud LaBeouf, Julie Hoverson, and Jason Zippe. All music in this episode was from Incompetech.com. The cover art for this episode was by Brett Coolstock. 
Sound effects were found on SoundSnap.com and Sonomic.com and OneSoundFX.com. The opening theme was by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. The opening credits featured Cole Hornaday, Renaud LaBeouf, and Julie Hoverson. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturne at live.com, that's 19nocturne, or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com, or join us in the 19 Nocturne Boulevard Forum over at audiodramatalk.com. This presentation is copyright 2010 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions.